Today I'm going to show you how to clone projects using GitHub with VS Code without using the terminal. In the last video I showed you how to push a project from VS Code to GitHub. In this video we're going to focus on how to add an existing GitHub project to VS Code and your local system and how to update the files afterwards with just a couple of mouse clicks. This process is also called cloning a repository. You can either clone your own projects or any project you find on GitHub. There are some little differences and we will go through them in this video. First of all, you have to install Git on your system. Git is the underlining technology which powers GitHub. Secondly, make sure to have an account on GitHub and that you have VS Call installed. Just a quick check in the beginning, make sure that under settings, Git enable is checked. So let's start with the first step. Go to the repository you want to clone. First, we will clone our own repository. You would do this, for example, if you lost access to a project folder on your local system. Then we go to VS Code. We go to the source control menu and click clone repository or we can go to view, command palette and choose git clone. Now we have to put in the repository's URL. So we're back on GitHub, either you can copy this URL or you can copy the git URL here. It doesn't matter, there's no real difference. Now we put that URL in the field. We will generate a new folder. Now we can open the files on VS Code. So now we have the file on VS Code and on our local system. If you want to do changes, for example, delete these two S, we save the, uh, the files, commit the changes, and push them to GitHub like we learned in the first video. Now you can find the changes on your GitHub project. Now let's clone a repository from somebody else and make it our own. Here is one of my favorite online teachers, Brad Traversy, and let's clone the Expanse Tracker repository of his GitHub. So let's copy the link, clone the repository. Now we have it on our local system. So what happens if we want to change some files? So let's go into controller, transactions, and change something. We'll automatically update in the source control menu. Let's try to push it to GitHub. Now it won't work because Git still links the project to the old Git file. So what we can do is go to the folder and delete the hidden GitHub file in the folder. If you can't see the file in Windows, go to view and check this box. And in Mac, press command shift dot and the folder should appear. And if you want to save now the changes, we can initialize a repository like we learned in the first video, commit the changes add a repository. So we would add a new repository on our personal account. Copy the link of the new repository, paste it in the form and push the changes to GitHub. Now, if you refresh, we made the project our own. Now we can add changes, commit the change it and push it to our personal GitHub and they will appear here. I hope this video helped. In the next video, which is in the description down below, I'm going to show you how to delete a project in GitHub and your local system. If you want to have more of these kinds of tutorials, make sure to subscribe and if that video helped you, consider giving it a like. See you in the next one.